Well, two NYPD officers recovering now at home following a pursuit of a gunman on a moped in Queens. It ended with all three of them shot. Now, thankfully, as you see here, the officers survived, but the incident sparking new debates on several issues. For one, the suspect in this case came to the U.S. illegally last year and has been living in a migrant shelter. Also, this incident is indicative of a new type of crime that is rapidly on the rise here in New York. In 2022, there were zero reported crime patterns involving criminals utilizing these electric scooters or bikes. Then last year, that number jumped to 20 so far. More than 80. And, and by the way, uh, that's more than 80 patterns, which encompasses hundreds of incidents. So what's going on here and how can we move forward? Joining us to discuss yeah. all of that and so much more. Chief of Patrol John Shell and Deputy Commissioner of Operations Kaz Daughtry. Gentlemen, thanks for coming in. Good morning. Uh, a lot of discussions that we want to have with you, but I want to begin with this breaking news out of Brownsville, Brooklyn overnight with these two young girls caught in the crossfire. It seems like this shootout that happened on a playground. What is the latest on the hunt for the shooters right now? Yeah, well, two cousins in a park playing. Mom is watching them. Two individuals walk into the park and recklessly discharge a weapon uh, towards a group of individuals that was in the park and struck these two uh, young children. They're expected to survive. Um, what do you call it? We have some investigative theories. We have some video. Uh, we have the greatest detectives on the globe, and we're very confident that we're going to put a close to this case very soon. Okay. Um, we have to talk about what happened yesterday. In East Elmhurst, we're talking about the two officers and the suspect involved in a shootout. The officers and the suspect were shot. Thankfully, um, they all survived. Mm -hmm. um, but we do know that that suspect was on one of those scooters that I just mentioned the statistics for. What is going on? How is it that we could go from zero in 2022 to this spike this year, 2024? So, like you said, we, we've seen an increase in cr crimes being used, scooters being used for crimes. We've seen an increase mm -hmm. in robbery, you know, it's what we yeah, call grand and snatches. And it's growing, growing. Why? Because a moped is an easy, easy way to get away. You could drive, you could it's nimble, it's quick, it's, it's much easier than a, a police car chasing you. Uh, and, you know, unfortunately, this other night, the 19-year-old, you know, is, is, is a migrant, and he's the poster child for what we're talking about in terms of people who come to this country who commit violent crimes in New York City against us, we should have a platform that we can, we, we can go to ICE and say, once they go through the process of our, uh, our criminal justice system, they, violent criminals, be removed from our city. And in, and in terms of the two officers, when we release this video of what they did, we asked them to go out and find these scooters doing these robberies. They did that. They're fighting with, with them on the floor. One gets shot in the chest. One gets shot in the, in the leg. And, and Officer Russo gets shot in the chest, says on camera, I'm hitting the chest, I'm good. And goes to help his partner, with tourniquet, the tourniquet yeah. tells him handcuff this person, they go to hospital, they release, they walk each other out. The heroism in this is unbelievable. We asked them to do this and, and just so, we are just so proud of them yeah. and how they yeah. handled it. I mean, those, those were truly heroic efforts. I mean, those moments, they put their lives on the line doing this job, truly. Um, but I do want to ask you about those migrants because um, we understand that about 250,000 migrants have been processed um, into this country, and we have about 65,000 currently um, being housed in New York City. Of that number, just so we can have an understanding of the scope of how many of them are committing these type of crimes, do we have an idea? Well, let's, let's talk about, we, pattern number, was it 14? 14, yeah. 14, pattern 14, two migrants from, uh, uh, we believe Venezuelan migrants, uh, were responsible for 112 uh, chain snatches, right, on mo on a moped. But w we're not, this agency, Police Commissioner Kavan has made it very clear. We're, we don't care what your status is in this country, how you arrived here, how you got here, where you're from. Once you commit a crime in our city, New York City, your new title is criminal. And right. we are going to treat you as such. And, and when it comes to now the people that are here waiting parole, Mm -hmm. for being here. A small portion is contaminated. Don't give all the migrants a bad name, but for the small portion that commits violent crimes, we need a platform where once they serve, like I said before, they go to the, the criminal justice system, once they finish with that, we should be able to reach out to ICE and say these people, this small group committing violent crimes should be removed. 
in this case from our city because it's hurting our friends, our family, our fellow New Yorkers. And they're paroled into this country. They're paroled and once they come to New York, um, the city is required, the mayor is required to give them a bed, food and shelter. Which the mayor agrees with that alerting of ICE. From <laughs> Absolutely, and let's be clear, small portion of the larger portion, 225, mm -hmm. And we all, we all agree that they should be removed. Violent crimes is the key phrase. Violent, okay. that's, not stealing a bag of chips. That's yeah. fair. Violent crimes. And you did say it's a small number, um, so that's good. And then, that then, you're then also, with. There's a, there, we understand that there is some good people that, are, uh, that arrive yeah. here, and they have nothing to do. So that's one of the other things that we're looking at is like, what is a crime of opportunity? Robbery. Right. They can't work. Which is why the mayor is saying yeah. what he's saying, too, about mm -hmm. allowing them to work, trying to get these work permits, um, something that can be more widely available Absol to, to Absolutely. That's what, yeah. And that's what we all want as New Yorkers, right? We're all yeah. good with that. I think yeah. we all universally say it's a good thing. Right. Uh, right Chief gentlemen. Deputy Commissioner, always great to have you in. Yes, Appreciate it. Thanks yeah. for inviting us. Thank you for yeah. taking the time. Yeah.